homemade trailer there. Brand new boat. We're about to see if this thing floats. Oh, absolutely perfect. My truck is always locked for no reason. Okay, let's do this thing. I look like a fool, but it's all right. Hopefully we don't need any tools. Cause I don't know how this is gonna go. How am I gonna do this without damaging anything? More importantly, hurting myself. Folks, today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a test trial. Probably not as much of a review as other videos you can find out there, but we got the Minn Kota Endura. Bought it at Walmart. It's a 40 pound with a 36 inch shaft. It's got five speeds. I bought it for a hundred and What did I buy it for? It's like 150 bucks. We'll say 150 bucks at Walmart. I think it was like 155. But more importantly, let's get this thing hooked up to this boat. Hopefully, obviously, I got the trolling motor. Hopefully. Already lost something, it's rolling into the water. Looks like the handle for the trolling motor. Yes, the extension. Pretty durable piece, hard plastic, rubber coating on the grip. Instruction manual, who needs that? Not me. Warning, when to the motor, keep your fingers away from hinges. Okay. Very curious on how the extension goes on. I probably should use the instruction manual for that part. So it does come with connectors. That was one thing I was wondering. Glad it does because I wouldn't be using it tonight. Um, looks like this extension goes on this way. And there's a pin there. Don't know how that pin it looks like it comes off maybe yes bingo pin is off and bam click we are on let's see how this goes on work. It's going to take forever. Fast forward. I don't know if it's going to work, folks. We're running out of running out of space. And I don't think I have any wood in my truck. Hmm. Hmm. Wood. See if I got anything back here. No, I definitely don't. So, what we're gonna do? Let's take a peek here. Oh, it's a, what is that? A sign? Damn! This ain't gonna work, is it? Um. Let's see. What do I have? A whole lot of nothing in here, really. Darn it! gonna work now folks
theory, that should be the ticket right there. Oh yeah. What is up, Dad? Okay, so we are back at the lake with a motor, as you can see. I don't know how I'm gonna get this in the water because it's a little heavier now with the battery on it. Uh, and I can't take it off because now I got the motor on. So I'm just gonna load this just like a standard boat launch here. I'm just gonna back it right into the water. So there we are, halfway. Golden baby. Wow, who would have thought? You don't need a big vessel to get out and have fun. <laughs> Can't believe this is working. So, we were floating, which was expected. I was expecting to float. What I wasn't expecting was this trolling motor to work so well. I mean, we are cruising right now. We're on three. When I get out past these weeds, I'm gonna crank this thing up to five, see how fast we go. Again, this is the 40 horse Minn Kota Andorra. Uh, I got a 27 group 12 volt battery on her and it's just ripping through the weeds right now level five <laughs> we are boogie look at the wake that thing makes let's get a rod out huh little jerk bait action hey eh? <laughs> this is awesome <laughs> i can't believe how how fast we're going well, folks, obviously this thing's going way faster than I anticipated. I don't know how fast in miles per hour we're traveling, but it's a pretty quick speed. I'm impressed. I am really impressed. I wasn't expecting it to go as fast as it just did there with a 40 horsepower motor and a 200 pound man. story on how I got this little tin can boat here I was working next door and I saw this kid this landscaper taking care of this uh, woman's property next door and I had recognized this boat had been sitting there for many weeks just buried it looked like it's been abandoned for years and I asked the kid I was like hey what are you gonna do with the thing he said I don't know I'm probably just gonna give it away on on the side of the road and I told him hey man I'll take that off your hands for you he said, all right. And that's basically that. I got the boat for free that day. Um, I haven't done anything to it, obviously. I mean, I just slapped that transom, that poor man's transom on the back to get me by with this trolling motor. But other than that, that's all I've done. I went and bought this trolling motor for it. That's doing a fine job so far. We are doing the thing right now. We're out here fishing. We're trolling at a local lake. The Minn Kota Endura has five speeds, all of which click. Five is pretty damn fast. I got a 12 foot aluminum boat. I'm a 200 pound man. Uh, reverse is pretty good as well. It's got one, two, three. Three really cranks. It's got off in the middle, or neutral, if you will. It does come with the connections out of the box, and it's lightweight. It's probably, I think it's about 15 pounds is what my research told me. Maybe a little more, maybe 16, but it's about that, that weight limit. Super easy to put on. The clamps have stayed on really well. The vibration doesn't do much, doesn't slip at all, and I am booming. I am on the water. We're going quick. It's a very comfortable handle with the extension on. Very durable little guy. Go get yourself a Minn Kota if you're thinking about it. 
Nikoda makes great products, very durable material. It's a great little motor, definitely worth checking out. You'd be doing yourself a favor. Well folks, thank you for watching. Go get yourself one of these Minkota trolling motors. I got it for like 150 bucks at Walmart. If you look it up online, I'm sure you can find it cheaper elsewhere. Amazon maybe, not sure. But it's a great little motor, very durable, made really well, lightweight, and it's getting me on the water. This thing took me around with no problem around this lake once already. So I'm gonna continue fishing, and then I got a musky trip coming up. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. Wet and Wild Outdoors. Stay tuned. Keep it real. All right, folks, I lied. We are on with a big, big bike. Big bike. Big bike. Eat the jerk bait. Eat the jerk bait. Don't jump. One hook in it. Big bike. Big. Big. Nice fish. No. No. Come here. Barely hooked. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Look at that fish, son. Look at it. It's a freaking hog, dude. Pliers somewhere. Somewhere in here. I pliers. I thought. I thought. No. Pouch. No. Man, where the pliers? Y'all bring the pliers? There you are. Pocket. Bingo. Bingo. Big northern pike. It's a long one. Got it in the tin can, baby. Jerk bait. Unreal. He hit it like a ton of bricks. I wish I had the head cam on. Of course, I go ahead and take it off. Jerk bait. First fish on the Rapala. Oh, got me. First fish on the Rapala X Wrap ever. Shout out Mike Rudney for telling me to go with the X Wrap. I still have never caught a fish on an X Wrap until today. That's a beauty. That's got to be 30 some for sure. She's going back. We'll never know how long she is. It's got to be a 30 some though. Nice. Healthy release. Really quick to take off. Doesn't get better than that. In the tin can on a jerk bait. Thank you guys for watching. Go get yourself a Minn Kota Endura. It's a great little rig. Five speeds, three speed reverse. 16 pound rig at absolute maximum graphite shaft go get yourself one 155 bucks at walmart check it out thanks for watching wet and wild outdoors till next time keep it real